Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to connect to your Microsoft Teams tenant using PowerShell. The Microsoft Teams PowerShell module has come a long way since its inception, and using PowerShell to manage your Teams tenant is a must-have skill for any Teams administrator. Let's go ahead and get started. First, the Microsoft Teams PowerShell module lives out in the PowerShell gallery. If you're not familiar with the PowerShell gallery, it's an online repository for PowerShell scripts and modules and DSC resources that is managed by Microsoft. Microsoft puts many of their official PowerShell modules and other artifacts out here, and you can actually upload your own if you have something you want to share with the community. Down in the description, I'll put a link to a talk I did for the Chicago PowerShell user group back in 2020 about how to publish your first module to the PowerShell gallery. To access the PowerShell gallery, go to powershellgallery.com. And here on the homepage, what you can do is search for any type of PowerShell package that you want. Like we just mentioned, we're focusing on the Microsoft Teams PowerShell module. So let's just do a quick search for Microsoft Teams. And here we are, it's the first result. Let's go ahead and select on it. And you can see it is managed by Microsoft. The last update was here on September 14th, so pretty recently. If you want to install the module, it gives you the command right here, install module with the name of the module here, Microsoft Teams. There are also other options. If you want to include this in an Azure Automation Runbook, you can deploy it out there using this button here. Or you can just do a manual download if you need to download the raw NuGet package file. Maybe you have an offline system that isn't connected to the internet, but you want to install this module on it. Let's go back to install module. And we'll click this copy button here to put this command on our clipboard. Now let's switch over to PowerShell and take a look at getting this installed. All right, here we are in my PowerShell 7 window using Windows Terminal. Let me go ahead and paste this command in here and go ahead and press enter. Now, if you've never installed a module from the PowerShell gallery, you'll probably get this message here saying that you're trying to download a module from an untrusted repository. You can go ahead and say yes to this, but every time you install a module from here, it's going to prompt you about this untrusted repository. So let me go ahead and cancel out of this command and show you what I'm talking about here. You can view the available repositories here by running the git ps repository command. You can see ps gallery comes up and its current installation policy is untrusted. What we can do is run the set ps repository command. We will put in the name of the gallery here and change its installation policy to trusted. So let's go ahead and run that command. All right, it's completed. Let's go ahead and run git ps repository command again. We can see that is now trusted. So let me just up arrow here and go back to my install module command and run it. And as you can see, it doesn't give me the untrusted repository prompt. However, it does give a warning that I have an older version of this module already installed on my system. So if I want to install the newer version, which is 5.6.0, I need to add the force command. So let's go ahead and add that here and install it side by side. With that already completed installing here, let me go ahead and clear up my screen. And let's just make sure we can import the module by running import module and the name of the module, Microsoft Teams. Perfect, now that that module is installed, we can verify what version we're using by just running the git module command. It's going to show all the modules I have loaded in my current session. And right down here on the third one, we can see Microsoft Teams is loaded here and the version is that latest version, 5.6.0. Finally, we've got the module installed. The next thing we need to do is connect out to our tenant. We have a nice simple command to do this with connect. Microsoft Teams will run this command. If you run just the command by itself, it should open a browser that allows you to sign into your Office 365 tenant using your credentials here. So I've already got mine loaded up. So if I select on that, it's going to tell me I can now close the browser. And if we come back to the PowerShell window, we can see I have successfully connected to my Microsoft Teams tenant using PowerShell. And then you can run other things like get CS tenant and this will bring back information about your tenant. That's it, that's all you need to do is go out to the PowerShell gallery, get the command to download and install the module and run the connect Microsoft Teams command and that will get you connected out to your tenant.
Now that you're connected out to your Microsoft Teams tenant using PowerShell, I want you to think about what type of task you might be able to complete using PowerShell, or maybe you have something in mind, but you don't know where to get started. If you do, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'll see if I can include it in a future video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.